Hello, welcome to another episode of Google Sites Tutorials. Uh, I'm Kyle with Kirksville Web Design and also uh, the blog Google Sites Web Design dot blogspot dot com. Uh, gonna walk you through uh, this tutorial about uh, content layout or page layout, however you want to describe it, and uh, using uh, pictures and animations, and I've already done some work ahead of time so you don't have to watch me uh, make an animation for like an hour. I'll just sign in here like I uh, always do. Go to my Nums Baked Goods sample website that I'm building just to show you guys uh, the complete, you know, complete walkthrough of how to build a website. Um, Starting off here, you may see that things look a bit different. I've uh, used um, what we had before with the header and the navigation bar that kind of fits in really well with uh, the links. But I've uh, also uh, improved the background. It was pretty stark before. Uh, just added some uh, text up here and some pictures faded in on the sides. Anyways, um, I'm going to start here on the home page and just go to edit page and this will drop down a whole bar of things for you to uh, customize and do. Um, I like to start off with going to layout and you may notice here they give you two options general category is simple and I guess complex is implied but uh, yeah complex and I always go with the the complex ones because it creates, I'll just show you here a two column. It creates a uh, a bar, a horizontal bar above. So you could, uh, you know, create a large image at the top that goes the width of the site, and then drop down to two columns, and then it puts another uh, horizontal uh, text box here at the bottom. Uh, you know, it you might as well just make it the uh, just forego the simple options and just uh, have this because you'll probably use it. So I'm going to be I'm going to begin here by uh, inserting some text that I've already written up. I'm going to just copy and paste and insert or paste. And what I like to do here to begin with is uh, go to format and you want to make a heading for example about Num's Bakery and then I'll have the text below and then I'll do another heading like uh, wait I don't know what I I don't know what I have next here why vegan that's gonna be the next uh, little header here uh, let me make that up format heading and you may ask yourself why am I making you know why make headings why format a heading when you can I don't know just make the text bigger and make it bold you know you could just make it bigger here and uh, and make it bold or whatever um, headings can be help uh, Google or whatever search en engine to index you know important uh, subtopics of your website uh, kind of makes for easy keywords. Um, I don't know all the specific technical details of how they index it, but um, I don't think it hurts to make headings. Uh, I'm going to insert my last group of text and post it. Which this next one's going to have the heading Why Gluten Free? Make that a heading capitalize these things here. Okay, so that's pretty easy so far. And you know, you can do a lot of uh, things. For instance, you can orient it. Uh, here, I'll give you an example. You can orient it like this. I kind of like that, so I'll keep that. And I'm also going to, I'm going to save it here for a second because I'm going to get rid of this, the home uh, content header because it's pretty much easy to tell that you're at the home when you have the selected uh, link in a different color 
So I'm going to go to page settings. I'm going to disable the show page title and save it. Awesome. Okay, and then next I'm going to use this, this space over here with my other column uh, to insert an animation. An animation, uh, you might you may know that Google Sites doesn't support uh, Flash, and so you have to make animations. At least this is how I know it with uh, with a GIF, a .gif uh, image, and I've I've already made one up. So you may you may think that it would be as easy to make a a GIF animation and just insert an image and and pick that out, but that is not the case. Um, and I'll show you why in a second here. Actually, while while I had that up, I used this as a uh, testing image to to check the width of of my image. This is a 400 pixel wide image, and I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit in this column well. I wasn't going to have to like minimize it because that that ruins resolution a bit and it can make things blurry. So I tested it out. That's a good way to uh, to plan out your design and your use of images. And uh, so that was 400 wide and 300 in height. And so, like I said before, you can't just insert a GIF image. It will it will not animate. It will stay at the first frame. I don't know why that is, but there w is a way to bypass that. You go to um, I'll just type in here upload image because I know that takes me to Image Shack, which is a free video or photo hosting uh, site. And so I'm going to upload my .gif image from my desktop. Uh, I called it that. And I'm going to upload that. It will take some time. It's two megabytes. So I'll play the Jeopardy theme song and, and wait for a bit here. Um, okay. Well, uh, Image Shack is the one I use. Uh, go ahead and tell me if you use a, a different uh, photo hosting um, website. This has just been, I think, it's been up there for a long time. It's a good, good website for it. Um, should be done here in a second. Ta-da! Okay, so I have my image, and uh, it gives you your links here. I'm going to go with the direct link. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go back to my website. I'm going to say insert an image. I'm going to go say insert this web address that I've just copied and it may take a few minutes it says for it to appear and for me to hit the OK button great okay and then I hit OK and you may notice here every time that you upload an image it will make a link for that image either to its origin or to uh, it will like uh, if you had an image that you upload from your desktop it'll open up that image as a, a sole uh, page uh, so I don't want people to click on it and just be staring at the image so I remove the link I'm gonna center this in that column uh, I don't really have to worry about text wrapping because it's in its own column without text and I'm going to save it there so I made an animation that's on loop and I used uh, GIMP uh, to make this animation, uh, which is a free uh, software, uh, kind of like a Photoshop, but uh, open source. And so you can see I have laid out a, a home page, and I've showed you how to to plan an animation or a picture. Let's see, what else do I have for you? I was going to show you guys. Um, how to let me show you here how to put like a, a horizontal line it's called uh, these can help to break up content and uh, so I'll, I'll insert a couple
couple lines here and see if that looks any better. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, horizontal lines are, are a good way to break up a wall of text. I think that looks pretty nice. But let's say you weren't happy with it being like the full width of the column. This is where a little bit of HTML uh, coding comes in. You go to this uh, column that we're working in, you hit this HTML button uh, in your uh, toolbar there, and see where it says HR width, and then it gives a percent. You can toggle that percent uh, to be the center width, however large a percent you want it to be. So let's say I'm going to change all these to 80%. And where's the last one? Here it is. And I'll save it. There you go. So it, it doesn't make it as blocky as it was before, but then again it does break up the monotony of all text. So great. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for this tutorial. Uh, have fun with, with images and, and making your uh, content and laying that out. And remember to use, you know, remember to build up your graphic skills in order to uh, create a professional looking website. It's not that hard. I mean, I'm not a graphic design major or anything. I just went for it and tried to tackle the learning curve that is GIMP or whatever. Uh, graphic design uh, software you're going to use. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. Again, subscribe to either my YouTube channel with Kirksville Web Design or my blog at googlesiteswebdesign.blogspot.com. Catch you guys later. Next week I'll upload another video. See you later.